What is poppin', y'all? This is Deidre with One Shot Game, man. You already know how the motto go. You get one shot at life, but a lifetime to learn all the game you need to help elevate in your process of life. Your determination towards becoming a new version of yourself is all you need to be able to change the direction in the course of your life. So listen, before I get into the title of my video, I want to give a big shout out to all my supporters. You guys are great. So look, the title of this video is going to be on the fact that in terms of spiritual energy, Energy. If people resonate with what I'm about to say, you can no longer feed into the past energy of yourself. That will stop you from aiming towards where you're trying to go. You know what I'm saying? That energy you indulge in, every time you indulge in it, sets you back a foot, a step. You know what I'm saying? From going where you need to go. It's very imperative that no matter what you're facing in life, every time you resort back to that old way of processing thinking, old habits, old things you used to do, you set yourself back. The main important focus is to be strong enough to set and create a path that doesn't involve you indulging in anything in the past. You know what I'm saying? Because the more you feed that, the more it'll grow. The more you don't feed it and you feed what's over here, the more it'll grow. Like, that's life. That's just real. You feel me? And anything you pour your energy into will grow over time. You just have to be determined to understand the, the process that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? It's not just social media. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can say the biggest amount of growth I've ever done is pour into myself. Because no matter what, I've always just, you know what I'm saying, not poured into myself because I was too busy pouring into others. That some people took that for granted, you know what I'm saying, and didn't treat me the way I should be treated. So the moment I started treating myself the way I treat others, listen, that was the biggest growth blessing in life. You know what I'm saying? These videos ain't nothing. It's just a way for me to creatively express myself without being interrupted, without being told this and told that. Because I don't feed into, you feel me, negative comments. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I've grown so huge in my life to where I've fed negativity into who I was, into my soul. I took it in. I took what people thought I should be. I took who people thought I was. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell by... You feel me? My appearance. You know what I'm saying? When I was feeding too much into what people was telling me about myself. But the moment I started feeding into myself and I started using my mind to, you feel me, outsmart the opposition, the more I grew. You know what I'm saying? And you grow stronger the more you don't feed into the old ways of thinking, the old habits. You feel me? Because I started out rocky. I'm going to just be real. You know what I'm saying? It was a path that I had to carve for myself in a new destination and a new road with only you feel me signs that i can understand like i was the person who was creating the street signs creating the street creating the stoplights creating the you know what i'm saying paint on on the roads it was me so anytime i stopped creating i stopped work on myself you know what i'm saying and it's kind of like listen i'm telling you right now you can get so off your path that you just, listen, don't even know which direction you're going in. It's sad, but it's the truth. You feel me? So you got to be willing to make that sacrifice for yourself, man. Never let anybody hold you back. Because if they do, you're only holding yourself back. People are going to keep living. They're going to keep going on in their life. They're going to keep doing what's best for them. And you're going to be over there sad, feeling all depressed. You feel me? People have a very good way of operating in your face like they're for you to get what they want from you in order to, you feel me, go off and live the way they want. They're not caring about you. They don't care about how you feel. You feel me? They don't care about, you feel me, you pouring into them so they can get what they want and then run off. You feel me? It's all about what you're going to pour into yourself. You know what I'm saying? Listen, that was the biggest blessing of all. I couldn't ask for nothing more, you know what I'm saying, than to have the ability to finally understand and recognize what I stand for, you know what I'm saying? And in the process of that, you know, you want to be able to help everybody you love motivate them in the right direction. But some people are not ready. And because of that, they're going to discredit you, put you down, try to get you to change directions, try to get you to fall for whatever they got going on. Absolutely not. I'm not and I won't, you know what I'm saying? everybody's destiny is tailored to them 
You know what I'm saying? And you got to be able to have strength enough to work towards it because you will get drained. You will go through speed bumps. You will go through, you feel me, the 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 deepest part of the ghetto in your head, the places that you never thought you had to revisit again. You know what I'm saying? But you have to revisit them and figure out a different way to outsmart the opposition because it is solely there to stop you from growing. You know what I'm saying? And once you finally figure out every roadmap to keep steady on your course, you feel me? Man, listen, you will no longer feed into that old version of yourself. You can no longer go backwards through that door. That door is locked. You know what I'm saying? It got a couple latches on it. You cannot no longer walk through it anymore. No matter what you try to do. It, that's like the best feeling of all. But in order to get to that point, you have to focus on not feeding into the old version of yourself. Because while you're going through the process, that door is going to be cracked open. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to squeeze through it. You might open it a few times. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through it a, a couple times. You're going to look through the peephole, open the door. You know what I'm saying? Hide the key under the pot. You know where it's at. Get the key. Open the door. Like, But then it's going to get to a point where you just completely lock the door. Listen, I don't want nothing to do with it. Change the locks. Lock me out. Put the padlock on there. I don't even want to go over there no more. You know what I'm saying? It's a great feeling, man. You feel me? When you evolve from the person that people always thought you would be and you grow up to realize that is not what defined me that is just the process i had to go through to get to where i'm trying to go and once i get there you can't feed it you can't you feel me because that'll listen you will cut your own head off if you even go in that direction your senses the ability to know who you are doesn't even take a trip backwards it just no longer goes that way you feel me? And you're only destined to go this way. And and listen, you still got opposition in that way too, but you're smarter at handling it. You feel me? You just do not feed into that energy anymore. You know what I'm saying? As far as thoughts, as far as how you, you feel me, your habits, what you do. You feel me? I was stuck in that for a long time. You feel me? Listen, cigarettes, black and mouths, weed, drinking. Oh, you feel me? Indulging in people that just didn't really care about me. Like, it's a repeating cycle door. You know what I'm saying? And and you have those thoughts for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Of how you value yourself. That sometimes as you're going through the process, you want to just reach out to somebody. <sighs> Make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? You want to just reach out to something. Let me ease this stress. You know what I'm saying? But it, it it's like your energy field is so protected you can't. No matter if you see it, no matter if you come across it, no matter if you're outside and it comes across your path, you just don't, you don't have the desire to indulge in anything that has anything to do with your past. And it's like you silently cut it off. You so quiet because you don't operate in there over there. They don't even know what to do. They don't even know how to feel because they like, damn, bruh. After all this time of me controlling you and, and making you do what I want, you know what I'm saying, and having you under my grip and my control, you are not coming back. You have officially left with no U-turns. I am appalled. I am shocked. Because I thought for the longest that I would be able to control you. You know what I'm saying? That is really, truly how the opposition thinks. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to listen, completely drive your car this way, baby, and don't turn back. I don't care how stressed out, how irritated, how discouraged you get. You better not turn back. You better figure out how to get through the roadblock, even if you got to wait until the roadblock is cleared. That's okay. You better sit in that car and wait, but you better not turn around. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> it's an experience that I think a lot of people are going through. But some people are taking a little bit longer at passing their own tests because they're comfortable in whatever it is that they're in. You know what I'm saying? And it's a little bit harder. So sometimes they have one foot in over here and then one foot in over here. And it's kind of like it still won't work out like that. You got to pick a side and stay there. You know what I'm saying? And it's up to you what you want in life 
you can either keep being sad and hurt and depressed and just your radio frequency and your brain just off, always on static, always depressed, overthinking, knowing it's something more you should be reaching to, but for whatever reason, you can't get to it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're still stuck over here. Let it go. Stop giving the opposition what it wants, what it needs to grow, because then it'll feed more into you. Cut it off. Let it go and don't turn back. It may be the hardest thing you ever had to do, but it'll be the best thing you've ever did. You know what I'm saying? To become who you truly meant to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to give my whole name on this video, but listen, it is a blessing to actually stand in my whole name. That's on my birth certificate. You feel me? I'm every inch, every bit of that whole entire thing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm standing on it. I'm standing on business. Listen, I'm the type of person, I'm going to get whatever I want in the world. Anything I want, I'm coming for you, baby. Believe that. It's going to be the best thing to ever happen to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming for it. I'm not stopping at no. You know what I'm saying? I'm not letting the opposition stop me from getting what I want. Because I, I, I can't hear no. I'm deaf. It's either yes or yes. <laughs> You feel me? I've listened. I've always been that type of person. So I'm coming for it. Please believe me. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it, it, listen, let me tell you something. It's going to be a blessing, baby, to finally have the evolution of my mindset to not stay stuck in the old version of myself. Because your environment, you know what I'm saying, and, and where you are, it, it, it it's the the blessing and the lesson, but as you're going through it, it's, it's difficult. It's hard because you feel me? You have a constant replay in your brain of what was, you feel me, and how it used to be. And then you have a, a, another tape that isn't finished being rolled on. So it's only playing a certain vo version of what you desire in your head. And you have to work towards it to make it happen. And the journey is the most important part the growth you do in between times but never stop aiming always keep going never think you failed the opposition wants you to think that the opposition wants you to think that whatever it is that you want in life you can't get to so i'm gonna do whatever i can to try to stop you you gotta outsmart it go around you feel me you listen and make a way out of no way again like i said i don't hear no did you uh, no oh okay cool I'm just going to keep working until I get a yes. I'm coming after everything I want, baby. I'm telling you right now. You feel me? And I'm not giving up. So listen, if you don't know what it is, I kept it real short just because this was just a video to help people understand that you cannot no longer feed old energy if you're really dedicated to changing. If you're really focused on reaching a state of peace in your mind, that you've never had before in your life, you have to solely put both feet in over there. You can no longer feed the old energy. And as you keep staying focused, it will wear down. It will wear away until you no longer have that old version of yourself in reach. Can't even touch it. You don't even feel it. You don't even know what it is like to go back there. You know what I'm saying? That will keep you motivated to keep going. So if you don't know what it is, I just told you. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe.